Mike Burdock, preacher talk, ministry talk. I'm 77. I'll be 78 April the 18th. I started preaching publicly for my father on a Sunday night when I was eight years old. Then I traveled with him when I was 10 and preached the first 30 minutes before he did in his tent revivals. One of his seven churches that he built brought the whole Jesse Duplantis family in. Jesse and I talked about it numerous times. Franklin, Louisiana. And his grandmother used to sit in the back seat. My daddy picked her up for church. He thought she was crazy, but look at the ministry Jesse has. What a joyful man. The Lord spoke to me one day and says, what you preach will happen. If you preach salvation, it will happen. If you preach healing, it will happen. If you preach the baptism of the Holy Spirit, it will happen. The Lord led me, and I want to talk about an altar call. And the last many years of my ministry, what I did, you might want to think about it. The first 10 minutes was decisions for Christ. I'd have people to stand after they accepted Christ before I ever taught, before my teaching. Because you know how people leave during a service. Second, I said many of you are called into the ministry to preach but you've never accepted it. And I had them to hold their Bible and accept the call to preach. Within weeks, we had 3, 000, over 3,000 people called to preach. If you open that door, preacher, just simply say some of you have a calling to be a pastor or evangelist, but you've never said a yes. It will shock you to see how many people accept that call. But they have to have the door open. Third, I would ask people that were called to to, uh, the political world and said, some of you called to be a governor, called to be a mayor, but you're called to be a Daniel in leadership. And I want to pray for the anointing of a Daniel to come on you. I've never had one service where I've mentioned that, that people did not stand and say they had a calling to the world of government. I've never been in any service in 78 years where they did that. But if you open the door, then I say some of you are going through a medical struggle. Wherever you need a miracle, if it's your heart, put it there. If it's you got a brain tumor, put it there. If it's your blood system, and then I lead in prayer. We had 66 miracles happen in a Sunday morning service in Sarasota. Uh, not Sarasota. What's the name of that? It's a, it's a place in uh, California. Anyway, 66 people stood and to give a testimony that they were healed. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? When you pray for families, don't pray for marriage problems. Because nobody wants to stand and everybody come over to them. What's wrong? You and your husband not getting along? (laughs) Never pray for marriage problems. Pray for family miracles. Many of you in your family could be in your marriage, could be with your children, but make it very general. You'd be be amazed how many changes could come if you make it easy for people. Anyway, I share about the altar call in this book. It's book 109 on the Uncommon Minister. I'll show you how to get your copy if you're in the ministry. It's book 109. I think it's glaring a lot. That phone number is available 24-7, 
24 hours a day and seven days a week. 817-759-BOOK, book 109. If you want to get a gift copy for your pastor or maybe your son-in-law is an evangelist, if you'd like to get a copy, let me sew that. I'll pay the shipping and handling too. Don't worry about that. Go to my website, mikemurdochbooks.com. It's worth seeing.